Hello, YouTube. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. You know what that means. Maybe you don't because it's been so goddamn long. It's Bill 69 time. Yes, Simon, Siv, the Pie Man, and I have uh, completed three more games on our retro gaming quest. And the reason it took so long this time, uh, pick any reason of many. Um, all the weirdness with COVID and, and, and uh, you know, me getting back t to work uh, with weird shifts, always changing back and forth and my days off changing back and forth. Uh, the pie man being busy at school with marking and everything returning to normal there. Also, he's had major problems with his basement and his driveway, which were linked, and he's had to totally refinish things. So we've only been able to play over at my house for the past number of months. And uh, with that stuff going on, he's had to skip some nights. Um, and then also, uh, two of the three games I'm going to go over today were also very hard and took a long time to complete. So there's just the numerous, numerous reasons, but I'm finally here with the three more games. And let's start with the first game we completed of this trifecta, a classic, which I never owned as a kid, uh, but it's so recognizable and it's so cool. And I played future games from the series uh, before I actually played this original. So let's just get to it. It is 1987's Metroid. So Metroid is an NES title, and along with like Super Mario Brothers, Mega Man, um, Zelda, all those types of series, it's it's one of the ones that's like instantly recognizable as a Nint classic Nintendo title. Um, the the story behind this original Metroid game is that uh, it's it's the future. Some at some point, uh, space travel is is a thing of the past. Like it's it's all old school. All the planets have been settled, and 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 it's just one big happy galaxy. Now, the 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 body that looks over what goes on in the galaxy is called the Galactic Federation, and they have recently come uh, upon a a nasty plot uh, enacted by some space pirates who have stolen this life form that's been in suspended animation that came from a planet called SR388. I think it was. Now this life form eradicated all life on its home planet and is very dangerous and given the right conditions can replicate very, very quickly. So these space pirates have <coughs> sorry, commandeered this life form and plan to breed it and weaponize it and of course take over the galaxy, I'm assuming. Uh, so the Galactic Federation has called in this um, a member of this team of, of bounty hunters called Space Hunters. And the uh, bounty hunter in question is named Samus Aaron, and she becomes the, the, the hero of the Metroid franchise, which spawns many sequels across almost all Nintendo platforms going forward. Uh, Super Nintendo, uh, I don't know if there was an N64 Metroid game. I don't think there was, but GameCube, uh, Wii, Wii U? I don't, I'm not sure the Wii U had one. Um, but, but up to the latest one on the Switch, Metroid Dread. Uh, plus there's Game Boy Advance titles, there's ones on the DS, like it's almost over every console and handheld. Uh, the original Game Boy as well, so, um, so it's a big, big franchise with lots of sequels. Um, so Samus Aran has to go to the planet called Zebes, which is the Space Pirate's hideout, and basically stop this from happening. So it's not a game divided up into levels per se. There's five regions on Zebes. Or Zebbies, or I don't know how to say it, and you kind of you can pass back and forth between them depending on what you have to do. Um, now, sometimes the way can be locked, and you need to find a way past it first before you can go. Um, and to do that, you have to upgrade Samus's abilities. So there's lots of pickups to be had in this game. Um, a lot of them have to do with her abilities. Uh, she has this. Uh, it's called a beam, a power beam that she shoots. You can get a wave beam, an ice beam, and some other sort of beam that can upgrade your beam and, and give it different abilities. Um, you can also increase her, the, the, the height of her jump so she can reach new areas. Uh, she can roll up into a little morph ball and drop bombs, which allows her to access smaller areas. Um, and then also she can, when she rolls up into her morph ball and jumps, she can also s spin, which is called a screw attack. That, that comes along later. Um, so there's lots of things you can add to her arsenal that will unlock these areas for you. Um, the other upgrades you can get concern health and your missiles. Um, some of them are just ammo or health refills, like they just replenish what you have, and other ones are expansions. Uh, so uh, you start with 99 health, a 99 health bar, and you pick up an energy pack, and it 
it grants you an additional one. So it's basically like a permanent free life. So once that 99 is, is run down, your next one goes to 99 and goes down. So once you run out of all your energy bars or whatever, you're dead sort of thing. So you can expand basically the amount of life you have. And same thing with missiles. You can expand, uh, you pick up a missile pack and I think you gain another five missiles that you can carry in your inventory sort of thing. So, so you basically just use all your abilities, all the weapons and additional lives that you get, um, pool all those resources and those abilities and those experiences together to try and make your way through Zebes and face down the evil mother brain uh, at the end of the game to, to win the game and stave off a uh, galaxy-wide space pirate Metroid invasion. And along the way, there's two other bosses you face, Kraid and the very famous Ridley the Dragon, which is my favorite boss of the, the whole Metroid series. I love Ridley. So yeah, very hard game, lots of back and forth because it's back and forth between the five regions. You have to, to traipse, uh, you know, revisit areas. It's, it's almost very maze-like at times. So that always uh, throws us for a loop and uh, kind of expands the length of the game sort of thing. So, but otherwise a fantastic game. So glad we played it. So glad we managed to beat it.